Okay, here we are at our homestead, our off-grid cabin. And some of you guys have asked about our water system. Daddy? And so I just want to show that to you real quick. What we have is four 275-gallon um, tanks. Uh, these are also called IBC tanks. And these collect rainwater. So we have a gutter that runs the whole north side of the cabin and a gutter that runs the whole south side of the cabin and they run into these tanks. Now right now this one is independent. It's not hooked up to the plumbing. These two at the end are hooked up to the plumbing. Uh, and this third one, we're going to be hooking that up tonight. The reason this one isn't hooked up is because most of these have NPT threads or national pipe threads and that's what national pipe thread looks like these threads right here and this will fit directly on to PVC but this one here does not this one has a different type of thread they call buttress you can tell it's very coarse so I had to order this which is a buttress to NPT thread adapter and then I can put on my two inch PVC. So we're going to be putting this on there and then using the T connection to hook it up. So these three tanks will be hooked up all together. Both the valves are open so they they fill as one unit. There's my stock tank checker there. Now when this one gets full, obviously there's a little imbalance until this one gets hooked up to the plumbing. We have a 12 volt fluid transfer pump that we put in there and then pump the water out into these. When they're full, we have is a 55 gallon uh, rain barrel here and I open that up uh, right down here. I open it up and then this tank will balance with the other tanks. Right now the tank is about right here and then I shut the valve off to hold the water in there and that becomes a reserve tank. So if all these empty out I kind of have an idea that we only have about 10 showers left so I'm either going to have to hook something up to the well or pray for rain. At the end this comes out to a three quarter inch braided line and it tees off with the barrel and then it goes inside and I can show you inside later but really it's a 12 volt flow jet pressure pump and that pressurizes the water and it kicks it back out onto that side of the fence which I'll show you in a minute. Two things that were recommended to me before I built this system were something called a first flush diverter and that's where the, the the first part of the rainfall coming off the roof actually gets washed down a different pipe uh, settling or a, a washout valve a t-pipe a clean out valve different people call it different things instead of going into your tanks i didn't do that uh, my philosophy is start with something and then build off that if it just seems like if you try to build the complete system right from the get-go you just get lost in the details and don't get a lot of traction so I, I didn't do that the consequence of not doing that let me show you is there is sediment in the tank so yeah you can hop up there and take a look you see the the dirt and the dust at the bottom yeah, that all came off the roof. These were these were perfectly clean when I got them. And all that is coming off the roof. So I'm going to take the advice and I'm going to build a first flush diverter here soon. And the second piece of advice that I received was to wrap these in black poly so the sun doesn't create algae in the water. And I haven't done that yet. Um, these are only seasonal. They're not year-round. Um, we only have August left. Well, maybe September and October, and we'll see uh, if the sun has an effect. And if it does, I'll take it back apart and wrap them up. Uh, my challenge there was none of the big box stores actually had the 10-foot 
wide uh, six or eight mil plastic sheets. Uh, they only had eight foot, so it would. It, I ran the risk of it actually not fitting. Here we are on the other side of the the cedar fence. This is our outdoor shower, and the line comes out of the wall from the 12 volt pressure pump right there. It comes up into the eco temp instant hot water heater, and there we have water. We have a mirror and some stuff that you'd want. Um, these are six inch double lapped. On this side it's double lapped cedar fence. It smells great. It's really fresh. There's lots of airflow in here. And the cedar for some reason keeps a lot of the mosquitoes out. So you can come out here, shower after the sun's down and they really don't bother you. My only issue with the EcoTemp hot water heater is the pressure pump creates so much pressure that there is a fitting inside the hot water heater that leaks which causes a slow leak which causes the pressure pump to cycle so I did hook up a 12 volt switch inside but other than that I would highly recommend these I haven't tried the other model uh, I forget who makes it but this one's great